What do you guys think? I said, what do you guys think? Fire! That's great, bro. That's great. That's great. That's great. Play, he look ill, right? Everyone loves it, buddy. Understand this type of man, you must understand that historically there were two types of slaves the house Negro and the field Negro. Now, the house Negro, he lived in the house next to his master in the big house, either in the basement or up in the attic. He dressed pretty good, he ate pretty good, but the master left him. He loved his master. I say he loved his master better than the master loved himself. If the master said, We got a nice house here, you say, Yeah, boss, we got a nice house here. Master's house caught on fire, the house Negro would be the one who'd run to put the blaze out. If the master got sick, he said, what's the matter, boss? We sick? I'm about to Fuck shoot. okay, it's okay now. You got okayed? You got okayed? How do I spread this news? How do I spread the word? I think you got to call the CEO. Yo, yeah, you listen. Gotta, you got to make sure it's okay. I like guys and girls. Spread the word. I'm down. Remember. Say another motherfucking word and this shit is over and i ain't playing nigga name me three joe budden songs for twenty dollars oh up in the club pump it up you guys give me another day joe budden song joe budden no the guy from um oh oh the one i'm beefing with my migos you know yeah you don't make music joe budden i don't excuse me bro twenty dollars if you can name me three joe budden songs Three Joe Budden songs. <laughs> Guys, $20 if y'all can name me three Joe Budden songs. What? Joe Budden. <laughs> Joe Budden, three Joe Budden songs. I don't, Joe Biden? Joe Budden. No, I don't know who Joe Budden is. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has to fucking flip the burgers, dumbass. You don't know what you know. You go to your job. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> My boss. He's been getting mixed reviews from old niggas like Joe. This is like he rapping for the children. And that's my, yo dog, I had to look up how old this was when I finished listening to the album. Mm -hmm. You are 36. Your birthday is in 20 days. I Googled that too. You are <laughs> 37 years old. Get the f away from some of these younger niggas and stop f***ing these 25 year olds I'm listening to the album. Yo, you're a 37 year old billionaire. I get it that you appeal to the world. Loving about Cole. Like, my shit is happening in reverse. Like, with Cole, he used to rap about kid shit. I'm a grown ass, like, real Jersey City. I don't want to hear how you lost your fucking virginity. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> Jesus. We don't give a fuck. In music for old niggas like you that don't leave their couch. All they do is sit up on the same couch, that white couch that he got up in there that really ain't right. It's dirty as It's got holes in it from him sitting and farting in it all motherfucking day. Champagne Poppy hit back and said that Joe Budden, you have failed at music. You left it behind to do what you were doing in this clip because this is what actually pays your bills. For any artist watching this, just remember you are watching a failure. Give their opinion on his idea of a recipe uh, for success. A quitter give their, op uh, their opinion on how to achieve longevity. You switch careers because the things that pop into your brain had you broke living check to check and the raps you write had about 450 men Showing up to your shows in Dusty and Nietzsche jeans. <laughs> Someone has to fucking flip the burgers, dumbass. This this is like Yachty rapping. This is like he rapping for the children. And that's my, yo dog, I had to look up how old this was when I finished listening to the album. Mm -hmm. You are 36. Yo, we're getting chased by Joe Budden, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter, boy!
Read a kid prodigy. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Yo, back up, back up. Lock back up. No, 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 no. the door. <laughs> Go. Yo, back up. Back up. Yo, don't, don't, don't. I'm trying yo, to make. Sir, sir, yo, that yo, wasn't yo. Me. Sir, that wasn't me. Yo, back oh, off! That wasn't back me. Up. That wasn't me. I'm sorry. Back off! Fucking block again. I'm gonna kill one okay. of the little niggas. All right, I'm sorry. Back off, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yo, chill. Sir, I'm sorry for them. I'm sorry. I was just trying to make this Joe Budden compilation real quick. Um, you know, Joe Budden get on my last damn nerves. You know, it's OGs like this. You know, we grew up with in the, the neighborhood, always talking crazy, always got some snaps to say, always got something to say about some younger folks trying to come up in the, uh, the world. You know, uh, little ideas, this or that. It's always got something to say. You know. But I was going to say Joe Budden is um, one of them cats, man. He probably didn't want to hear nothing when he was hot, you know, uh, 2008 or whatever. When he dropped that uh, pump, 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 pump it up. Yeah, so he uh, he probably wasn't trying to hear nobody. He probably was about his business. He was staying dedicated to whatever the hell he was trying to listen to. He wasn't trying to hear nobody out like uh champagne poppy is right now like drake doing you know he trying to just push his music push his, his own agenda he ain't trying to hear what you got to say and and anybody dissing him like that you know especially when you got the reach you know i was gonna say when somebody got the reach that joe button do you know you'll see what they do with it but you'll see what they do with the reach they got they start uh talking crazy and trying to always stay in the limelight always trying to stay in the, uh, the media about some dumb shit You'll see what they do, you know, and yeah, they're not doing like Akon or somebody, you know, and just trying to go rebuild and try to do something more positive with themselves after they make their money out the industry and um, it's going about their day. You know what I'm saying? You made your money out the industry. You're still trying to be uh, relevant, in, you know, by bringing up the more relevant characters. That's not that has nothing to do with you, you know, but. That's how OGs is. They always got something to say, you know. And I was going to say, it's OGs like this, you know. I remember in the hood, you would ask them, like, hey, man, what, what kind of game you got? You got some game for me, you know. You'll be 10, 11 years old trying to soak up some game from the OGs. And next thing you know, they ain't got nothing, you know what I'm saying? They're going to tell you to hold on, wait, wait. You got to be older to get this game. You got to be older to hear it. Then he... Then they, and then you get a little older. Then they tell you, you grown now. They ain't got, you ain't got nothing for them. So, yeah, it sounds like a OG that's just running his muttering mouth and ain't got nothing good to say or positive to say about any real situation about, um, you no know, positive in this community or or uh, helping young rappers out to hit hit their potential. You know, maybe hook them up with some DJs or something. You know. Uh yeah, just look out for the for the young rappers that's coming up. You got a big enough name, you know. You could have been took that position, but you see what position you choose to take, you know. You turn around and you just talking crazy to the uh younger cast that's coming up, you know. You throw out uh he thirty seven or whatever, like he's supposed to stop trying to be relevant, you know. This rapping shit don't stop unless you stop, you know what I'm saying? So he gonna keep on pushing his music and pushing his own shit his own agenda as much as he wants to, you know, get his money, get his word out there, whatever he got to do, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to put up this uh, compilation to constantly tell these OGs to shut the hell up when we over here trying to make our own moves, you know what I'm saying? You had your time. Shut the fuck up and sit back. You was a weirdo, you know what I'm saying? That's why I put this compilation together. You've been saying weird shit to just stay relevant, but you ain't going to be relevant, bro. You already, you about to be 40. I mean, you about to be 50, my bad. You about to be 50 years old. Shut your ass up. You know what I'm saying? Just sit back and watch the youngsters try to take this shit over how they supposed to. Maybe you can give them some game if your old ass got some. But I doubt that you over here uh, constantly worried about a bitch. You're always putting your hands on a woman and shit. You's a weirdo. That's what all I got to say about this shit. But silence is acceptance. We ain't having it, you know. Like, comment, subscribe.